If you're learning React right now, I would strongly recommend that you stop and take a pause and listen to this video because the things that I will tell you in this video, you're not gonna find anywhere else. And I'm pretty sure I can save you months or even years of development time in your React journey. If I had known these things when starting out, I would have been a much better developer than I am today in a much faster amount of time. Now, it's probably too late for me, but it's definitely not too late for you. So make sure to watch and watch until the end of the video because the things that I will talk about and tell you in this video, you're not going to want to miss. And also before we start, I do want to mention that I created a discord for react developers. It's the first link in the description. If I were you, I would check it out. Cool. So what would I do differently if I could start over my react developer journey? Well, the first thing that I would do that I didn't do is I would follow and find a proven path. A proven path is essentially a guide, a course, a tutorial, or any form of information that can guide me in my journey to learning react. Something that can tell me what are the things that I need to learn, what order do I need to learn them in, what are the important things and lessons that I need to get out of that, and essentially lay out the path for me from zero to hero in becoming a React developer. Having a proven path is so important when you're learning React and when you're learning anything in general, because it literally gives you the blueprint, the steps that you have to take to become a React developer, and it removes all of the responsibility from you to figure out what you have to learn. Because it's not only about learning React and it's not only about putting in the time and the hours and the effort required to learn React, but it's also about figuring out what are the things that you need to learn to become a React developer. Because if you're just starting out, if you have no idea what React is or how it's used, you have no idea what to learn. You have no idea what concepts are important in the day-to-day -day life of a React developer. And chances are you might spend time learning things that end up being useless and that you would never use. And so if you have a proven path, you can avoid all of that. You can avoid wasting your time and you can only spend your time on what matters and be as efficient as possible in your learning. Because right, like think about it. Why would you spend all of this time trying to figure things out on your own? Why would you waste all of this time not really being sure that what you're learning is actually going to be useful to you as a developer when you could instead spend a little bit of time to just find that proven path and then follow it and then not have to worry about anything else? Because using a proven path, trust me, is going to get you much better results than trying to figure all of this on your own. Because the path will have oftentimes things that you would have never thought about on your own. And of course, how could you? You don't know what you need to learn. You don't know React. And so there's no way for you to figure out all of the pieces that you need to learn to become a React developer. So really, I cannot stress this enough. Find a proven path, find a course, find a guide, find a tutorial, find a mentor, find someone or something that can guide you that knows about React and that can tell you the things that you need to learn so that you can be as efficient as possible with your time. Now, once you have a proven path, that's great, but that's obviously not enough. And my second tip is you need to practice, practice, and practice. I cannot stress this enough how important it is to put in practice everything that you've learned. It's not enough to spend all of this time learning, going through the course, doing all the little tutorial examples that they give you. You need to actually put in practice and build something with the skills that you've learned. Because oftentimes, if you're just following a tutorial or something really simple, once you go ahead and you start applying these lessons to a project that might be a little bit more complex, you're going to find that things don't work like they did in the tutorial. Because your use case is slightly different. You have something that is slightly different that the tutorial or course did not cover. And so that is a great opportunity to then use the fundamental skills that you've just learned, use the base that you have, and then try to figure out how you can make it work in your own use case, in your own application. Doing it that way, you're not only going to solidify the knowledge that you've learned in the course or tutorial, but you're also going to expand and grow as a developer because now you're actually putting this in practice and you're figuring out how to make it work in a real life scenario. And that is super important because you need both. You need to go through the theory to learn all of these things and understand everything that you're learning, right? Of course. But then you need to also learn how to put it in practice and how to figure things out when things aren't working. And I promise you, if you keep doing this, if you keep learning, if you keep applying what you've learned and then figure things out, run into roadblocks and then learn some more and then apply some more and eventually figure it out, you are going to become a React developer in a very short amount of time because that is the most efficient way to go about it. And to be honest, that's what I did. Now, I didn't really follow a proven path. That was my mistake. That's why I'm making this video now to tell you to find a proven path. But I did do a lot of practice. There were months or even years in my development career where I spent 10, 12, 14, 16 hour days learning React and applying it to projects. If you've seen my other video on how I became a React developer, you know that I don't have a conventional way of getting here. I essentially went to Google and I self-taught myself how to become a React developer by literally typing on Google, how do you build an app with React and trying to figure it out. Now, of course, that wasn't the most 
efficient way, but it was the way that I went about it because I did not know any better. And all that I knew was that I had to practice. And that's what I did. I built project after project. I figured things out. I posted and read questions on Stack Overflow. And eventually I started to understand React fundamentally. Now you can do the same if you practice. And if you also get a proven path, you can do everything that I did in a much shorter amount of time, right? So use me as an example. Don't do the things that I did wrong and do the things that I did right and use me as a resource to help you on your development journey. And finally, the third tip that I have for you is that you have to be consistent and you have to be patient. Becoming a React developer is not going to happen overnight and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very difficult and you're going to have to spend a lot of hours trying to figure everything out. It's not going to be as simple as just watching a tutorial once and then applying everything that you've learned and have it magically work. Oftentimes, like I said, it's not going to work in the first try and you have to spend the time to figure out and learn the things that you're missing from that tutorial. And that's okay. That's part of it. That's part of the journey of becoming a React developer. This shouldn't happen overnight. This should be years of hard work, of perseverance, of going through obstacles, of figuring things out to then eventually come out of that being a solid developer that has a good fundamental understanding of React and how it works. So you have to keep that in mind. You have to be consistent. You have to be patient and you cannot get discouraged when things don't work. If you get discouraged at the first obstacle that you have, you're never going to become a good developer. That's part of the job of a developer is to deal with obstacles and to find solutions to complex problems. And the more practice you can get in solving those complex problems, the better developer you're eventually going to be. And if you then follow a proven path and you're consistent and you're patient, then you have a recipe for becoming a great React developer in the shortest amount of time possible. And that's the goal, right? You don't want to rush this. You want to be patient and consistent, but you also want to be as efficient as possible so that you don't waste any time in your journey. So there you go. That was my advice for you if you're trying to learn React. These are the things that I would do differently if I had the opportunity to start all over again. Again, like I said, it is too late for me. I'm already a React developer, but it's not too late for you. And I really hope that you got something out of this video and that you're going to think about these tips that I've told you and apply them in your learning journey. And also on the topic of finding good resources and proven paths, I do have a Discord for React developers just like you that I would love for you to check out if you're interested. It's really a community of React developers and you also get access to me personally to help you on your journey. I answer questions, I review code, I take in video requests, and I'm generally available for anything that you might need. With that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot and it shows me that you enjoy my content and that you want more of it, which I will make. And yeah, my name has been Darius Cousin. This is Cousin Solutions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, ciao.